morning guys, Donnie Stone, Van Air Manufacturing. For those of you that weren't able to join us this year at uh, Utility Expo in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, we're gonna do a quick walk around, kind of show you what we've got going on. Uh, so let's get started. with uh, one of many of Van Air's uh, in the field demo trucks. Uh, this particular chassis is set up uh, showcasing our hydraulic driven power systems uh, via uh, PTO uh, kit on the truck, uh, be it hydraulic compressors, uh, all in one power systems, jump starting capabilities, we have solutions for you. Uh, what we're seeing on this side here is our RS85, so it's a rotary screw uh, 85 CFM hydraulic driven compressor. Uh, this will produce up to 150 pounds of pressure, handling your 90 pound jackhammer needs and so forth. Uh, next to it, we've got our lightweight RC40. Uh, so this is a reciprocating compressor, uh, excellent for your uh, mechanic service trucks and such that you may have out there handling your one inch impact needs uh, and the like. As we move around here, uh, we're gonna come across and see one of our new uh, electric tool lifts. So this is our 350 pound uh, electric tool lift uh, for saving your backs when you're out there in the field. over here to uh, a hydraulic cap start. It's one of our newest offerings here. Uh, this unit here is capable of producing 3,240 amps of instantaneous jump starting power, both for 12 volt and 24 volt systems. Um, we can charge down the vehicle's batteries or we can get them up and going. So this is capable of doing up to 32 liter off-road diesel engine. So a very powerful system delivering output power based off its demand. Next we move into uh, this gorgeous unit here, the Aeronark 300H, the H standing for hydraulic driven again. Uh, this is an all-in-one system that is giving you the capability of welding, uh, electrical output, battery boosting and charging. So it's a 40 CFM rotary screw compressor producing 150 pounds of pressure. So again, handling the one inch pneumatic needs that you may have for either tire inflation or moving the wheels and so forth. Uh, it's giving you 7,000 watts of AC power uh, and capable of doing uh, 300 amps of welding simultaneously. So we have two separate DC generators, excuse me, a DC generator and AC generator in this package. Uh, so giving power output based off your needs. Uh, we have the rotary screw compressor. We also have an integrated four gallon air tank, all in a remote mountable uh, control panel uh, to control this gorgeous package. Uh, so you have everything at one unique location. Uh, so set up to do uh, CCs, constant current welding, so stick welding. Uh, it's also got an integrated CV setting, so constant voltage. So this will power any voltage sensing suitcase feeder uh, that you may have in your fleet if you had the needs for MIG welding. Then moving over here, we've got um, a separate unit out here by itself. This is our new 30 gallon cap start unit as well. So we offer this in a skid version, meaning no fuel tank, no air tank. Those would be remote uh, located or auxiliary supplied. Uh, but this particular one, we do have the finished product here to give you a full uh, all inclusive package. Again, giving you that 3,240 amps of instant starting capability. Um, multiple patents in this system here, as well as we also have an integrated 24 CFM two-stage reciprocating compressor. So 175 pounds of air pressure needs. Uh, again, capability of handling those larger tools you may have. All with a unique uh, LCD display here, some digital control. Lastly, in this group over here, we've got our uh, good old jump pack system. So a uh, number of different configurations, be it uh, 2,500 amp output, uh, all the way up to 10,000 amps. Uh, so very popular units out in the field, um, receive very well. 
utilized to, to start tractor trailers, uh, 16 liter diesel engines, things of that nature. So it's like the Capstart product offerings, uh, it's gonna deliver the power the system's gonna demand from it. So uh, taking that same piece of equipment, uh, the 10,000 amp package, I'm gonna jumpstart um, uh, commercial vehicles, uh, uh, cars, pickups, light duty vehicles, all the way up to those um, larger class eight tractors. All right, so next we're moving into uh, engine driven products here. So uh, the first one we're gonna show is our new Gen 3 Viper gas unit. Uh, this is a true EFI drive-by-wire uh, B-Twin Honda engine, um, driving a Van Air encapsulated rotary screw compressor. Uh, offered in those same 60, 150, 70, 125, and 8100 uh, output capabilities. Uh, with double the fuel capacity as our previous model, so we're at 10-gallon fuel storage. Um, this particular model here, 8100. Uh, this is going to power your 90-pound jackhammers, uh, your piercing tools for underground work, and so forth. Very quiet, uh, very low idle speeds, uh, auto start-stop, um, uh, easy user operation uh, adjustments from uh, pressure settings, from your auto start-stop uh, time settings, and so forth. So very exciting product here that we're, uh, we're proud to bring to the market. Next to it, we, we move into our uh, Viper Diesel. Uh, so same output capabilities as the gas, but being in a, a little bit smarter uh, diesel configuration. Again, that auto start stop capability. It's a direct drive version water-cooled diesel. So uh, if gas is a concern, um, after treatments and such is not required with this diesel. So it is a tier four compliant package, very small footprint, eliminating the need for that big 185 tow behind or something you might be running in your fleet. This again is gonna handle those uh, larger breaker tools and such, such as that uh, 90 pound breaker. Um, as well as these units are gonna produce air at output. So for instance, this 80 CFM unit, uh, this diesel, uh, she's gonna produce 48 CFM and 100 PSI for you at idle. So it's gonna automatically adjust based off demand for the tool that you're driving with it. So keeping the overall noise to a very minimum uh, and being a very efficient package for your operations out there in the field. Okay, so while we're on uh, the topic of engine-driven products, we also have an all-in-one power system here that we'd like to talk about. Uh, and this is our diesel compact, so our Aeronart 300 diesel compact. Uh, so overall height has been reduced uh, significantly. This is set up to pull chassis fuel, use auxiliary air storage as needed. Um, showing the control panel uh, mounted directly to the machine, but as we mentioned with that 300H earlier, um, typically remote mounted in a side compartment of that chassis, keeping the operator safe, uh, making it very simple to operate and maintain. Uh, but again, giving us that uh, 40 CFM, 150 PSI air compressor, 7,000 watt AC generator, and that 300 amp AC welder along with that 12, 24 volt battery boosting and charging capability. So a shop in a box mindset, if you would. Another offering that you may be familiar with out in the field uh, regarding the Aeronart product line is gonna be our Aeronart 250. Uh, this has been kind of a staple for our markets. Uh, we are proud to, to show our latest offering here. This is our uh, Aeronart 250 Lite. So a significant weight reduction has been a focus of Van Air, along with um, uh, so both weight reduction and sound attenuation. So trying to get product quieter for the um, for the operator, as well as take overall weight off the payload from that chassis. So so here we have a fuel injected V twin Kohler engine powering a 5,000 watt AC generator, a 250 amp DC welder. That's 100% duty cycle at 250. Uh, along with that two-stage 24 CFM reciprocating compressor. So again, capabilities to run your pneumatic tools, grinders, impacts, uh, and still handle your welding, battery boosting, charging needs, all with a remote panel like we have on those other packages uh, to make it a nice, clean install and operation station. So close-up views of these uh, remote control panels so you get a little better taste of what we have going on here for you. Uh, so this is gonna give you your fuel storage, uh, readouts is going to give you your hour meter it's giving you your ignition controls obviously but you again your weld selections uh, your dc charge selections uh, along with your uh, ac receptacles thermal breakers speed controls for your generator switches so these are 60 hertz single phase ac generators to give you that power that needs for the job